right for me? Yep. Put the right foot on the step, and pop foot on it. Grab the superstructure step in the seat. Approach. There's one knee. That's right, you got two, right? Yep. And elbow goes in there. Good. Now, do the chest strap, do the leg straps. And the instrument's looking good. We'll let the tail off the ground. And we are airborne. We'll bring the landing gear up. We'll throttle back here. We don't need all this horsepower anymore. And we're flying. How about that? I love it. Good deal. Well, you know what the stick and rudder does? Yes, I do. All right. Well, why don't you take over? You got it. I'm completely clear of the controls back here. She's all yours. You'll find it's probably a bit more sensitive than you expect it to be. I've already noticed that. Oh, give me a shallower right turn. Alright, I'm ready to rock and roll if you are. I am ready. Follow me through. I'm going to turn to the left here a little bit. So we head straight south. And I'll demonstrate a simple aileron roll to the right. This is not a coordinated maneuver, although we will have positive G's at all times. There we go. I'll bring the nose up. Excuse me, about 20 degrees. Neutralize and roll. This is, of course, the way we should look at the world, right? A little bit of right rudder on the bottom, and we're good. What do you think of that, Jim? Excellent. All right, well, your turn. Bring the nose up. I want you to do it to the left. So stop and left stick. Left stick. A little bit forward stick. More left stick, not quite that much forward. Left rudder now, left rudder. To prevent the nose from dishing out, and we're good. Bring the nose back up again. We're going to regain the altitude. How are you feeling? All of it. So there you go. That's good. All right, pull up first. A little higher, a little higher, stop and roll, left stick, okay, right, more work too, that's all right, keep going, keep going right, keep going right, more right, right rudder also, right rudder, right rudder, right rudder, and pull out. You see, I forgot the rudder. Yeah, and also if you come out with a stick like you did there, you start rolling slowly and you'll dish out. You know, you got to keep the rate of roll going, otherwise the nose is going to drop. Okay. Let me through. I'm going to demonstrate the first one to the right. I'm just going to pick out a heading of south. You follow the section lines on the ground here, as you can see. This is directly south. It starts with a very gentle pull-up. And then slowly start turning to the right. The idea is to let the nose slice through the horizon at the 90 degree point, but very low airspeed over the top. Very light, as you can feel. And then you slowly turn back out. Opposite heading, similar airspeed and altitude. Your turn to do one to the left, so pull out. And slowly turn left. This is a nice one, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You can stop the turn there for a second. And slowly come right up and pull out. Pull out. A little harder. There's a traffic 12 o'clock. No factor. Okay, got it. Let the nose come down. Go ahead and dive. It won't be so bad now when you do it yourself. All right, we got the airspeed. Tighten up your stomach muscles and pull. I can't hear you. Pull harder. Good. Look at your wingtips. Look at your wingtips. You forgot to look at your wingtips. All right, look forward now. Relax. And start pulling again. And here's the G-forces one more time. Not quite as bad as when you did it just when I did it earlier, right? What's that? Didn't hear that. Not quite as bad as when I did it earlier, was it? Not quite, no, that was a bit bad. Okay now. Yep, go ahead and pull up. A little harder. And roll. Now keep that stick in. A little bit forward. That's enough. Keep it in to the left. Left rudder also. Left rudder. Stop. And that was your best one so far. Alright. All right, well, time to head back towards the airport. Give me a 180. Tower Texan 2, 10 to the uh, south-southwest for a low approach if possible. Texan 2, Simi Tower, report 2 to the south-southwest for a right down.
downwind entry for runway 15 for your low approach to the right base. Winds are 170 at 10, altimeter 29er, 9er, 9er. Triple nine, report a couple of further. You right now in one five, six and two. Two in the right traffic path. We'll be looking. Eight zero, Fox Tango, middle on time on the runway, please. Middle on time, eight zero. That's right, Fox. We're still on base. Three four. Yeah, go ahead and turn your base down. Turn your base down. Yep. We're going to turn up before we get over. All right. And 284, you're number two behind the T6. He's in the break, and he's coming back to the right base, runway 15. Number two, 284. Right, landing gear is down to lock on both sides. We'll go ahead and select flaps. It's going to feel like you're hitting the brakes. Oh, yeah. Pretty effective, aren't they? That they are. This aircraft descends uh, quite rapidly. Gear down, flaps down, power up. About 1,800 feet a minute or so is the descent rate. Uh huh. A little steeper than your average airliner. No kidding. A bit steeper than your average model, too, I think. I think so. Well, uh, I guess it depends. It depends whether you got control or not. <laughs> well, we are in control, I guarantee it. That I'm happy about. There came that accent, about. <laughs> I couldn't detect much of it. We'll see how good we can make it. On the numbers? How's that? Excellent. I got lucky. <laughs> I'm sure you get lucky quite often. Well, it happens. <laughs> Welcome back on the ground, One Piece. Hope that was everything you wanted to be, Jim. That and more. Good. I can undo myself. You can start that. Make sure you don't pull the ripcord and the parachute, whatever you do. And uh, thank you very much for flying with us, Jeff. Thank you very much for taking me up. You're welcome. Did I forget here?